it feels really reaffirming that we've got to this point now and you're all standing here looking at me. <laughs> 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 but from that very, very first moment of, well, possibly sheer madness of trying to open that gate and it was completely rammed with brambles, 10 foot high or so, wasn't it? And the, that moment of madness of just thinking, right, I'm going to get into that garden with Corrie and we are going to clear these brambles and just go for it. And it took, well, it took a lot of, I think actually, I think what happened was we got into the very first section and we could just about see there was an apple tree here and we could just about see there was a greenhouse and the rest was this wall of brambles like Sleeping Beauty or like, like the secret garden, the proper secret garden. And it sort of cast a spell on both of us. And yeah, that spell hasn't sort of lifted. <laughs> and yeah, we're still here, just attacking brambles. <laughs> but the more we cleared, and the more, you know, we realise how much space there is in here, and seeing Corrie's sort of mood lift every time she'd come in here, if she'd have a stressy day, she'd come into the garden mm. and it would just all drift. And I just had little thoughts. I thought, oh, this should be used by other people. It's such an amazing space. And, you know, it feels like, I was saying to somebody earlier on, it feels like the walls are like arms and they wrap those arms around you. And it's a very nurturing, special space. And we just thought, actually, this needs to be opened out for other people to use. And that was the beginnings of the thoughts. And then Sarah came on board <laughs> and I was having all these thoughts and, you know, conversations with Sarah and yeah, you just sort of cemented those ideas and said, yes, actually, you're not completely insane. <laughs> I think there is something here and we could move this forward and do something. And I think we should set it up as a community interest company. And so that's what we did. And so I'm going to pass it on to you. And yeah, so we sort of yeah. moved it on from that. Um, I think you all know us, but if you don't, this is Fedra. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Corey, and I'm Sarah. And Fedra and I have been friends since we were 18. We went to drama school together and have lived together quite a lot and I am now back here living with Fedra and her family and it's a complete delight and um, so we've set up a community interest company called Withywood and we are officially incorporated and we are a community interest company which means that we can apply for grants and be really clear about what we want to do and so the vision is to enable um, and encourage access to being outside in nature with a focus on growing flowers and vegetables, <laughs> particularly for young disabled adults, but actually it could be wider. And I think the way Fedra said the garden makes her feel is that's what we like. We think that's really important. We, we know that being outside is good for us. We are in a climate emergency. What could be better than growing vegetables and growing flowers? And Corrie has picked all the flowers on all the tables today. And I believe that Corrie has got a fantastic future as a florist mm -hmm. and other young people like her. Mm -hmm. And other people could be florists <coughs> and veg box growers and spaces like this enable people to come in and do stuff and feel good about themselves. And I, I've got a load of thank yous. Um, which is to our families who yes. have done so much even yes. here today. Yeah, absolutely. Just coming and helping. Thank you. Um, and for our new compost loo, if you haven't been inside it, it is the most beautiful compost toilet that has ever existed. And I think there should be a party in it. So please use it, but also enjoy it. And Bob, who built it, could not be here today, but. Um, on camera, thanks well, Bob, because you've done an amazing <laughs> job. Um, oh God, I had some other people to thank and I can't remember and it is quite important. Oh, I actually I do know. And Fedra invited me to a seed swap in Froome in February. <laughs> and I, I, know I where came this is going. <laughs> and um, she said, we're going to hear a man called Charles Dowding talking. So we went upstairs and we were listening to Charles talking. 
I thought, oh, he's really good, he's really interesting. <laughs> and I thought, I think he needs to come to the garden. And so I went over to Fedra, I said, should we see if we can get him to the garden? And we did sort of kidnap Charles <laughs> in front of quite a lot of people. And he came back here and we had some lunch and explained what we wanted to do. And, um, and he left and I did Google you, Charles. I thought, oh God, <laughs> <laughs> well known. <laughs> and um, Charles has agreed to be our patron and he's over here and we're just, thank you so much. It really means a lot. So I guess our ambition is that this is, this is a space, but Withywood is not a venue-based organisation. It's going to be a place that can exist in other places. So we might look for other pieces of land, but the purpose of Withywood CIC is to enable access to outdoors with a focus on growing and particularly for young disabled adults. And we will be applying for funding and looking for support and all that sort of stuff. So if anyone would like to get involved and help us out, we'd love that. And we have got some feedback forms. Oh, I do have another thank you. It's to the church who've been yes, really supportive. Thank you. And we have an Very urn much. that we borrowed <laughs> and um, a trestle table. And it's great to have you as neighbours. Thank you very much. And that's enough. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Not literally kidnapped, but they you can be very persuasive, as you might have noticed. <laughs> and I didn't know what I was coming to. And when I saw this place, it was like, oh, this is, that has potential. <laughs> it's pretty messy uh, in my eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm a vegetable grower and I have very immaculate gardens and grow a lot of produce actually on a very small area. But I could see lots of potential here, uh, but also a lot of work and that was february so in those few months coming back today it's pretty impressive already and it's clearly going places and i'm really glad that you're making a, a cic actually because i've just agreed to be patron of another one in cornwall it's called cornwall grows and that lady's very dynamic as well called jess and she has got so much money in funding it's if, if you're a cic it's a brilliant way actually she was just reeling off the list of thousands of pounds for this and that and the other so that will really help you, I think. You, you can, you know, <laughs> go places with that. Yeah. So I totally commend you for your efforts. It's been, a, it's a great pleasure for me to be patron of your Thanks, wonderful Charles. group. Well Thank done, you, you guys Charles. and Corrie. Thank Where's you. she gone? She's yeah. hiding, <laughs> hugging, <laughs> hugging. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go for it.